So from core two, from uh, AS year, um, we are used to uh, using sine, cosine, and tan. Um, when we get to uh, a little bit further in mathematics, there are three more uh, trig functions which we use, um, which are closely related to those three original functions. And this is how they are defined. First of all, we have cosec x, which is 1 over sine. We have sec x, or secant x, which is 1 over cos, 1 over cosine. And then we have cot x, or cotangent, which is 1 over tan x. Okay? So these are three that you need to remember. And the way to remember them is just by identifying the third letter, okay, cosec, third letter is S for sine, sec, the third letter is C for cosine, cot, the third letter is T for tan, okay? So that's a way to remember which is which, okay? Um, we subsequently need to know what these curves look like, okay? Um, so if we start with cosec, let's begin with sine. So sine looks like this. Okay? Now, if you're doing 1 over sine, so that all of the values that you get um, on the y-axis here, okay, is 1 divided by that value, then what we end up with is a curve that would look something like this, because, I mean, at 1 divided by 0, that will get us an asymptote, and 1 divided by 0 here will get us an asymptote, and 1 divided by 0 here will get us an asymptote. So there will be asymptotes every pi along the graph for um, cosec. Okay, and uh, the, on the y-axis, okay. Uh, one divided by a number that is very close to zero will be very large. <coughs> And 1 divided by 1, okay, because the y value, 1 divided by 1, is 1. So it'll get very large, it'll come down, hit 1, and then go back up again, okay? And in a similar way, the curve looks like this. And it repeats itself periodically as sine does. So the blue curve here is cosec. And the black curve obviously is sine. Okay, so this is cosec. Um, a strange looking graph, but it can easily be drawn. Um, on a graphical calculator, um, some don't have uh, these as separate functions to input, just do 1 divided by sine or 1 divided by cosine in order to actually uh, sketch them. So let's look at sec x here, okay? So, let's see how well I can draw this one. Uh, 1 and minus 1. Okay. Now, in drawing uh, sec, uh, we're going to hit the same issues um, when the graph is 0. 
So when the graph hits zero, there will be an asymptote. So there is an asymptote at minus pi over two, at pi over two, at uh, three pi over two, okay, at minus three pi over two, like so. And then when you're close to the asymptote, so close to minus three pi, minus pi over two, um, the curve will be very large, and when you're doing one divided by one, you get one. So the curve looks like this, much the same way as uh, Cosec did. Okay, so this is y is equal to sec x. And the black line is y is equal to cos x. Okay, so sec is a translation of cosec, okay? Much like cos is a translation of sine. And they look similar, just translated along, okay? Well, they are the same, but translated along. Right, so that leaves us with cot. So tan looks like this. So here's 2 pi, here's minus 2 pi, okay? So, um, cot will obviously have issues when, um, when we're at zero again, so there's an asymptote there and there and at 2 pi. So 0 pi, 2 pi, uh, minus pi, minus 2 pi, I'll have an asymptote, okay? Um, and when the curve <coughs> is at, um, or close to 0 here, okay, but positive, cut will be large and positive. Okay, so that when it comes down, oh, that's not very good, is it? Okay, it comes down through like so. Okay, in a similar way. Okay, so this is cot. Clearly there is something, uh, it looks like a reflection and a translation combined. Uh, reflection in uh, the y-axis and then translated along. Uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. Um, and clearly there is something interesting going on because at this point um, we're getting, um, for tan, positive and negative infinity, effectively, that they're approaching. Um, but one over that is as close to zero as possible. But at that exact point, there must be something relatively interesting going on, and that would require some limiting process to actually fully understand it. But that is a bit beyond what we do here. Um, so types of questions that can involve this uh, we'll be looking at trig equations involving these three trig graphs, um, but you can get asked to sketch things like the modulus of K.
cosec x, for example. Okay, so the mod of cosec x in this case would have looked like this. Because these parts of the curve would have been translated up, uh, reflected up in the x axis. Okay, so that would be your mod of cosec. Okay, so those types of uh, things can also be put into your graphical calculator to help you, but that's obviously how uh, you would do it without.